it's not about any one particular country. It's about what we are learning about how countries are responding in general. Um, and in the beginning, um, you know, in, in early January, um, when we're learning more and more about this, what we've seen and what we've learned from countries is countries that acted very fast and took this very, very seriously because of their experience with other similar pathogens like SARS um, back in 2003, like MERS in 2012, 2013, um, they, they knew, they had firsthand experience of how dangerous a pathogen like this could be. And that aggressive nature and approach and looking at this as an all of society, all of government approach and focusing on the fundamentals of public health really had a, had a head start in the sense that they were able to uh, formulate a plan um, get organized, take this very, very seriously, and really, really act quickly. But the other thing that the Director General said today was that it's not too late to turn it around. So even countries that didn't do that, even countries that didn't have that first-hand experience with SARS, have experience now with COVID-19. And it isn't too late to turn it around. It isn't too late to get the infrastructure in place to work on that and to use it appropriately. Um, countries are going, many countries are going through very difficult periods of time some countries who have had success in, in suppressing transmission, who are opening up now, may, may have a setback, may have to implement uh, interventions again, may have to implement these so-called lockdowns again. I, we hope not. We hope that we won't have to go through into widespread lockdown again. Um, so it's not too late to act fast. It's not too late to use the tools that we have. And countries have tools. They have surveillance in place. They have testing that is in place. They have people who could do contact tracing. Even in situations that are overwhelmed, break down the problem, break down this seemingly overwhelming problem into smaller components that, are, that you can tackle. Um, and the reason we say this over and over again is because we have seen countries that have been in overwhelming situations who have turned this around. So um, it isn't too late. Uh, it isn't too late to, to use this comprehensive approach. We are here, WHO is here for all countries all over the world.